Oh, it's warm today. It's already up into the low 20s. I'm not staying out any longer than I need to, so this could be a relatively short video. We've had some very heavy rain in a couple of days ago and it's done some interesting things to the garden. My poor old spinach has completely bolted. With the cycle of hot and then wet and then hot and then wet, the plants have been really stressed out. So I'm just going to pick off what I can and then dig them up, I think. Well, that's that job jobbed. Score for spinach this year, one out of ten. The beetroot, however, well, that's a completely different story. There's quite a few of these that have broken surface and are looking really quite nice. I think what I'll do is I'll probably pull up the big ones and give the others a little more space to grow. Right, here's a nice big one. Let me pull you up, my friend, without disturbing your neighbours. Oh, that's a lovely one. I'll give you a close-up in a minute. And there's this one. <laughs> yeah, there's a little bit of damage of something there, but apart from that, it's looking really nice. So here they are, I've pulled five of them out. There's these two beauties here, very nice. And there's two little ones as well. They were right between two other beetroots and they were butting up against one another. So I've pulled these two out to really thin the beetroot out, the remaining beets. So they'll have lots more room to grow and I'll be able to harvest them later in the year. Now, the leaves, I can use those like spinach. Not quite sure what to make of my garlic yet. Common wisdom says that five of the lower leaves should be yellowing or dead. Well, that's the case in this one. So I think I'm going to dig that one up. <laughs> oh dear. Smells rotten actually. It smells really mouldy and horrible. What's this one doing? It's a bit small. I think I'm going to leave them in for a little bit longer. So this was the first one I pulled out. It looks distinctly mouldy and horrible. This was the second one. At least you can see the cloves are starting to form, but it's not ready yet. The same can't be said of some of my cauliflowers. They've gone absolutely berserk with the last spell of wet weather. I think I'd better harvest some. There are a few things more satisfying than harvesting your own crops. Of course, there are those who would say that actually what I should do is, is not protect any of my crops or my fruit or anything. I should just let all the birds and insects and wild animals take what they need and be grateful for whatever's left. Which in my case is generally nothing. Well, I've got three reasonable heads here. And one that's gone just a little bit too far, but it's still perfectly usable. I've dug out the finished plants and I've also folded over some leaves onto the growing florets to keep them nice and white. Now I could use the leaves like I would use cabbage leaves, but I don't like cabbage. By the way, while we're down by the cauliflower, do you remember I really hacked back my lavender last year? Well, the butterflies are loving it. And I'm loving it too. My carrots are doing okay. I'll just give them a little bit of a ho ho ho. 
My sweet corner got their first tassels and their first hairy bits. But I'm really not sure what's happened to these potatoes at the end here. I think I'm going to have a little dig and find out what might be going on. Ooh, a spud. Put that to one side. Another spud. A teeny tiny spud. There's some potatoes here, which would be great for a little potato salad or something. Not really sure why those two plants expired. Maybe the dog's been weeing on them or something. But they were baby pool potatoes, and look! Baby pool potatoes. Enough here for one meal at least. It's kind of encouraging really. I'm really getting to know what I can grow and what doesn't work so well in this garden, in this position, in this climate. And in a way that's what gardening's all about. By the way, if you haven't noticed yet, these are not new glasses. These are my reading glasses. I forgot to put my other ones on. Anyway, that's all I've really got time for this week. I'm getting lathered. I can't rehydrate myself for another nine hours. So I'm stopping here. I'm going indoors. Thanks for watching and do join me next time in Titley's Busy Garden. Mm -hmm.